Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video, like I've been wanting to film it for a while, but I've also been a little bit scared. But as you can see by the title, this is a makeup tutorial using products that I don't like. You know what, like I mean, little disclaimer, these are products that just haven't worked for me. You guys may love them, I don't know, but they haven't worked for me. Some of them I don't absolutely hate. Some of them are like, you know, passable, but they're not my favorite products because I needed something from, you know, every step of makeup. But there's some that I have a passion for not liking. <laughs> I did mention the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser in one of my products I regret buying videos. I understand that it's not a primer, but I honestly feel like it does nothing. So I'm just going to use that around my enlarged pores, try and smooth things out, but I feel like it honestly makes, oops, I feel like it honestly makes my makeup slide off. I am actually really excited to try this because who knows, it may work. <laughs> this is the Rimmel Fresher Skin Foundation in 303 True Nude. If you've seen this first impressions, you will know that this foundation did not work for me. There is no way I can see it working for me. I actually tried it several times and on each occasion, it was just as bad as the first. Like it was not a foundation meant for my face. I understand that there are some people who really enjoyed this foundation, who had no issues with it. But for me, it went on very patchy. If it came into contact with water, it would melt off my face. Uh, one time I went to get my eyebrows threaded and you know how you have to hold there? It seriously came off where I was holding my face. I've tried applying with a beauty sponge and a brush. Hasn't worked, so what am I gonna do today? I just wanna see if it works. <laughs> As you can see, I haven't used it for a while, so it's gone a little bit funky. I'm gonna mix it up. I literally held onto it for this video. That looks a lot better. This is so funny. Obviously I have this guy here, please don't mind him. But I'm going to apply, I'm gonna put a bit too much there. And you're meant to only have like, it's meant to be like a natural coverage, like a light coverage foundation. So in saying that, I probably put too much on, but I have spread it around my face. So I'm going to just blend it in. And obviously I do prefer a full coverage foundation, but let's see. <laughs> I need a pretty shoe going patchy. you. <gasps> This is an Exo Beauty foundation brush, by the way. It's very good quality. I can already see that that's patchy. <laughs> like, what's going on here? So just to, you know, test it out, obviously you can see that this is super light coverage. The color doesn't match me completely. I put fake tan on today, but it's still developing. So it's, it's really dark. It's just getting darker by the second, I feel. I'm gonna go and put another layer on this side to try and, you know, do something about my redness and my pimple and the patchiness. Look at that. It's like it cuts there on my jaw. I'll just do it on this side. I put a lot on, all right. I'll, I'll admit that. <laughs> I just want it to try and cover. Look. It's covered a lot better, but I feel like if I were to blend it out rather than stippling it, it would just see ya. And look how shiny it is compared to that side. Well, that didn't work out too bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do this, you know. Why not? I think I just look ridic. Anyway, so why the hell not? This oxidizes like nothing else. <laughs> oh my god, it's late. Next product. 
product. This is actually a combo that I tried together that I'm using because it just, it was a fail. I filmed a full face of e.l.f. makeup video. You notice that I never put it out <laughs> because it didn't actually work. Because I use these products together. Now this is the e.l.f. under eye concealer and highlighter. As you can see, it has two ends. So it has a white end and then a concealer end. So I paired that with the e.l.f. high definition powder. This is a translucent powder. It's in sheer. And let me show you the magic. This is like way too light. I'm fully aware for this <laughs> shade of my foundation at the minute. When I tried it, my foundation was not this dark. I don't know if you can see, but it's quite liquidy. I'm going to use a little bit of this highlighter as well, just to, or is this, this isn't shimmer, is it? So this is just like a white, but you can see that it doesn't have much pigment. Like it is quite watery. So I'm just going to put that like on the edges. I'm going to take my sponge. Now this one is from Target. I'm really not a fan of this sponge which is another reason why I'm using it today. So I'm just gonna blend that out. <laughs> I reckon that actually took away the foundation because it's like quite watery. So I'll just blend this out. Yeah, as you can see, it really hasn't had that much effect. You can kind of see that it's taken away the foundation, like especially you can see that redness coming through there on the tip of my cheek. If you're not blinded by my disco ballness right now. Time for the powder. Now, this goes literally everywhere. Everywhere. I hope you can see it going everywhere. I'm going to pick it up on my sponge. This is just what I did. I just bake with it like I usually do. Except it's going everywhere so it's hard to be precise. But, I reckon that's gone in my eye. Hmm. <laughs> And then we're going to close it up and dust is literally everywhere. Okay, so what I usually do now is I'll set my face. I might just use this powder. What's left on my sponge or what's on my desk to be honest. So as you can see when setting my face, it's just, it's so patchy, it's not smooth. Actually, I need a bit more powder. I look like a freaking mess right now. Like, why is my chin like sparkly? Can you see that? Maybe it's the highlight. I can already see the powder making um, everything disappear. I think I've used this once maybe. This is an Essence Make Me Brow. Now this is a brow powder thing and now Maybelline have a similar concept to this. However, on the other end of it, actually that's worked really well. On the other end of it is like a, um, that worked really well, is like a little pencil. My qualm with this was that you have to like dig it in quite a lot. Um, you can't control, see how that's kind of gone patchy? You can't control where the product goes and you also can't get a defined tip. This one turned out a bit worse. This one looks fine, to be honest, but it is a little bit light. So if I use this how I meant to use it, like so, that's how my brows turn out. This one turned out not too bad. This one on the other hand, like, I don't know. You just like, see how thick that is on the end there? Time for the magic because I would usually, I reckon that had glitter in it, that white stuff. It definitely had, I'm a hot mess. I cannot believe. You know what's funny from here back, like it doesn't look too bad, but like, can you see? This Rimmel Exaggerate Undercover Shadow Primer. I'll have to zoom you guys in so you can see, but it is so slippery when you put it on and it doesn't dry. Like my fingers just slipping around. Like you see that? It just, it feels like it has so much silicon in it and it's just slipping around. 
what is this crust about? For eyeshadow, this isn't a product that like I hate or really dislike. It's just a product that didn't work as well as it should. So this is the L'Oreal La Palette Nude in Beige. I'm just gonna take this lightest color here. Although I think it's a shimmer, but I'm just gonna set that. I feel like for L'Oreal has been around for so long and they have so many brands under their belt that they could have just come out with a better working eyeshadow palette. You know, more comparable to the high end, especially considering I think that this is around $30. I'm gonna take this matte crease color next. And like, that's just done nothing. And I'm literally like rubbing. That's, to me, that's done nothing. This warmer chocolate color. <laughs> and it's still not really doing anything. It's just disappointing that for someone, you know, like leading into the game, like it's not going patchy. It's just like, there's no pigmentation whatsoever. And that's just disappointing for me. I'm going to take this color here, this champagne on the lid. This color is quite pretty. I really want to know what this color is for. It's like a lime green almost. I'm just going to put that on top. It's like a lime green yellow. And like that um, primer has just made these super patchy. I feel. Just take a highlight. Okay, I'm gonna take the darkest brown. Ooh, that's got a little bit of pigmentation. <laughs> I literally went like this though. This is not how I like to apply makeup, by the way. I'm just like putting it on for the shits and gigs. Okay, I'm gonna use a couple browns on my lower lash line. That's, I just honestly, I can't be bothered trying to fix it. Like there's no transition there because those colors just didn't show up. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have to say, I really didn't like the Too Faced sketch marker. It was so scratchy on my eyes. Okay, it's done not too bad, but my eyes actually really hurt. They feel quite irritated, which isn't a good thing. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Better Than Sex only because it flakes so bad. It actually applies very nicely. It applies so well, but then an hour or so later, people are like, Crystal, you have black stuff on your face. It's all over your face. I am yet to try the waterproof one, but I'd like to give it a go. A product for me that was just a waste of money that I've just used like only a handful of times is the Naked Urban Decay Flushed. I don't know if they still have this one. I bought this back when they only had the one color and it just looks like this. The bronzer contour, what I really struggled with was the fact that it was so warm toned and I kind of, I didn't know how to use it like of course I've had it for like quite a few years I just look so silly right now the color's just not right I don't know I feel like that didn't do anything for me anyway today the other thing that I struggled with is that the blush is so overpowering I'm so sorry that just cut out but I was explaining see how the blush color is just it's so overpowering and for me uh it's it's like a color that's it's quite similar to my natural flush cheeks, which people may think is an attractive look, but for me, like, I don't know. It's not the kind of blushed cheeks that I was after. Yeah, I've put on a little bit too much today, but I just wanted to show you the color. Like I, I did put a bit on, but it's also my natural cheeks showing through.
Do you see the patchiness? I have quite a few lip products that I really dislike. I haven't used this in so long. This is the Velour Lips in Rio D. I used the pink one recently. Like, oh, I can't even remember how long. And it was just so drying. You see how it's just grabbing to every single bit in my lip. I'm just applying another coat. I can still see like my lip color showing through. You guys probably can't see from here. Like obviously there's a reason why I can't wear these because my lips are quite flaky in the middle. You can, you can see that like I definitely do need a lip scrub. I know that like they just stick together. because I thought that these were meant to dry down matte. I think the last thing that I have to do is highlight. So I'm gonna use the Makeup Academy Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlight. Looks so pretty, right? Did you see how much I dipped this in there? Yeah, there's a bit there, but it's not like Like, where's that highlight? <laughs> Obviously this is, you know, and like it goes for a lot of these things. They are more affordable products. So they're not going to work as, they're not gonna be as pigmented and as luxurious as a high-end product would be. Um, but the color is like really pink too, which, you know, like some people are a fan of, but. The mascara isn't dry enough to start flaking, like you can feel that it's not dry. But I promise you, it does flake. I feel like it just brings out all of my flaws. I, I look so super crazy right now. Obviously, this makeup look is, you know, n not that attractive. <laughs> Um, that wasn't the point of this video. This video is to show how products work and don't work. Some surprising things like this eyeliner, that looks fine, but it, it I, f I feel like it's the experience of using the product as well. And for me, the experience isn't enjoyable because it irritates my eyes. It's so scratchy. The lips, they don't look too bad from far away, but up close, they are a hot mess. Um, and I probably should have used like the hot pink one, but I don't even know if I still have it. I'm just so over the matte liquid lipsticks right now. Like they're just so drying and they, you know, and this isn't kiss proof, like it comes off. And I feel like you can't, like some of them are okay and you can touch up when you eat, but when they fully come off and then you try and put another coat on, it looks weird where you already have a coat of lipstick on. So that is the end of this video. That was kind of fun. I don't know what kind of backlash I'm gonna get from putting it out, but these are my honest opinions on the products. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, if I don't like a product or I'm not too sure, and you know what, maybe it is the way I'm using it. Maybe it's not, maybe it doesn't work for me. Maybe it works for you guys, whatever is cool. But I find that these videos are quite interesting to watch so I thought I would make one for you guys. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you the makeup on my vlog camera in natural lighting, not artificial lighting, just to, you know, show you how bad it really is because it's terrible. Let me know if you would like to see another one of these videos because I think I can round up another bunch of products to do a face with. <laughs> Turning out like this. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys are having a really lovely day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.